Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and amazing day, just like me. And today I'm going to be showing you how to disable chat in Roblox. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I, I don't really have anything to say. Um, go, actually go ahead and, uh, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, uh, if you want to see more scripting content. Anyway, here we go. So, it's actually really, really simple. So, in Replicate first, go ahead and add in a local script. Um... And then go ahead and do game dot starter gui and then um yeah and then colon set oh no nope, set core and then um actually no set core enabled I'm sorry guys set core enabled and then do enum dot core gui type and then you have all of this, like everything, the backpack, the chat, the emotes, the health bar. Like, you know, like sometimes if you die um, or like take health and it'll be right here. The player list, which is like the leaderboard and everything. Um, you have all this. Um, so we're just going to do chat. Like if you want to uh, disable like their tools, you can, also, you can just click backpack. But yeah, you get it. Um so if you want to disable chat just do enum gui type dot chat and then do comma false so basically when you set it to false um or like when you type in false it's going to disable the chat but when you set it to true it's going to enable the chat so this is um good where games were like uh kind of like an among us type style game to where you only want to enable chat at certain types like say this was an emergency button when they click this then chat can be enabled um yeah so i'll go ahead and play um and then you see that there is no chat bar so ignore this because i did put a script and server script service that said the same thing um because you have to do it from a local script in replicated first because local scripts only go for the client um so yeah and then next um i'm going to show you um how to disable the health bar um or what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to set the core gui type to health so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just insert a script into this block uh, to make me take health whenever I touch it. So um, I'll go ahead and edit this part out. Uh, so yeah. Okay guys, so um, I just went into the part and I made the part um, basically immediately kill you. Um, so let's go ahead and play and then um, once we... So I made it to where whenever you touch the part it's going... Uh, to kill you, and because uh, we made the replicated first uh, R1 local scripts um, only do health and not the chat, so the chat is going to be enabled again. So, um, what we do is whenever we touch this, you can see that there is no red outline on the back and there's no health bar right here. So, basically, it disables the health. So, this is also uh, this is good for games for like um, a murder type style game, like kind of like Murder Mystery 2 um, or Arsenal. So, um, next, let's go ahead and do Backpack. Um, so, yeah, so whenever we join the game, um, and I go ahead and go touch that part again because I changed it to Backpack. Um, it's not going, um, like the health bar and you see everything here will show up. Um, so yeah. So anyway, um, I don't know what this is. Oh yeah, my, uh, my hat touched the part. So yeah, it's okay. It's just in the scripts. All right. So, um, but you can see there is no tools. So if we go to players... And then go to mine. You can see that there is stuff in my backpack, which is this, which is this tool. Um, and you could have, and you did see it earlier. But because we disabled the backpack, and uh, even when we click the inventory button, um, you can see that it's not going to be pulling up because we disabled the inventory. So 
Next. Next, let's go ahead and do, uh, how about player list? So, you know, like, when you join the game, there's, like, a player list over here with, like, all the teams and different stuff. Well, you see, when we do that, you can see that it's not there, and there's no option for it. Which, um, if there was an option for it, it would be, a, there would be a leaderboard here. So, yeah, you see, that is, um, how you disable your leaderboard as well. So, I'm gonna go ahead and stop. And then let's go ahead and um, emotes menu. Um, I don't. I forgot the keybind for that one. Um, let's go ahead and do all. So basically, it's just gonna disable everything. This is really good um, for um, murder type style games. So you can see that we have no backpack, we have no chat, and we have no leaderboard um, or or anything over here. Um, like not the three dots because I, I just remember that like there's an inventory and an emotes button. <laughs> Um, I forgot about the emotes, uh, but yeah, so then when we touch this part, we still die, but you can see that we still don't get a health bar or anything. All it is is just showing us a Roblox sign so we can reset our character, leave, or exit out of the Roblox menu. So guys, um, that is basically how you disable, um, chat and other core GUIs, um, in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this really helped. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, go for, don't forget to like and subscribe my, um, our Discord for a game that is coming out, um, soon, hopefully, is in the description below. Same thing with, uh, the Roblox group. Um, anyway, um, this is DJ Skyward.